a good mortar mix will make your bricklaying life so much easier. Now the mortar actually provides a bed for the bricks to sit into and takes up any discrepancies in the size of the bricks, keeping the top nice and level. But I can't stress enough how important a good mortar mix is. A good general purpose mix is four parts sand, one part cement and half part lime. The lime just increases the workability of the mix, making your life so much easier. Another thing you can buy is some pre-mixed bags. This one is just sand and cement, but this one has lime added. This one for me is the go. The consistency of your mortar should be that of toothpaste, but keep your toothbrush away from this stuff because it's no good for your teeth. For the mix, use a brick layer sand. That's a fatty type bush sand, and if you find that the consistency is too fat, add a bit of fine grade beach sand. If it's still a little fat for you, use some bicol. As a rough guide, to lay 1,000 bricks, you need one tonne of sand, eight 20 kilogram bags of cement, and four 20 kilogram bags of lime. Handy hint, cement and lime products can cause skin, eye, and lung problems. So make sure you wear your safety gear and always check the safety directions on the back of the pack. Now, if you remember the correct ratio for our mortar mix was four parts sand, one part cement, and a half part lime. Now, in my barrow here, I've doubled that. I've got eight parts sand, so I'll need two parts cement and one part lime. It doesn't hurt to add a bit more cement because the cement shovels are always smaller than the sand. And one part line. Whilst the mix is dry, I could mix it with a shovel, but take it from me, using a larry is much easier. You can see by this cement dust, the dust mask comes in handy. Make sure you thoroughly mix this and get right to the bottom. Don't leave any sand underneath. We're going to add some bicol to our water just to increase the workability of the mortar. Now to 15 litres of clean water, you'll need one cap full of bicol. When you pour the water into the barrow, pour it at the back and then the gravity will take the water to the front. When you're mixing the mortar, just drag it into the water. Just take little sections of the dry mix at a time and make sure it's thoroughly mixed. Our mix is a little bit runny so we'll need to stiffen it up a little. Just add some sand and cement. To vary the colour of your mortar, you can try different colour sands or different colour cements. But to change the colour dramatically, you can add an oxide powder. But be careful here, you've got to make sure you add exactly the same amount to each mix, otherwise your wall will look like a rainbow. Okay, for all you uni students out there, this is a real mortar board. It's an off-cut of plywood, elevated slightly off the ground, just so we don't bend over as far, and that'll save our back. Now that's the preparation done, let's get started. <laughs> 